<laughs> Good morning. Oh, welcome to freezing, freezing Cape Town. It is totally freezing here. <laughs> sure. Sorry, guys. I'm. I know I'm early this morning, and I. And I see why I make it top as nine, because then I'm not necessarily <laughs> ready <laughs> at nine. Oh my goodness. But I have to show you what we're doing and what we have been doing. So we've got a few things, like as you can see in the background, <laughs> just to hide a few things so that we don't have to see the mess. Um, but I actually just want to show you a few um, fun things that um, we have been doing because we have um, gotten really into the, the live streaming and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to switch cameras. And um, I just wanted to show you, we have put in all this new lighting. This is what happened. In my, this is how we have changed my kitchen around. So we have now got beautiful new lights. So I don't have to have too many lights. I've only only I'll have one key light, which is awesome. Normally, if you can see in the background there, there's a whole board of studio lights and stuff. Normally, I have all of those studio lights, but because we have set up all these beautiful lights and it makes my kitchen look so beautiful now. Um, <laughs> so this is what the setup looks like. <laughs> when you see me, <laughs> you only see just me. <laughs> part of what I'm doing and we're going to be working over there today in the kitchen so um, yeah that's that's going to be fun because we're going to be making um, <laughs> we're going to be making some fudge which is going to be awesome um, okay so but for now I'm just going to quickly have a chat to you from all oh, let's switch that off because we don't want that. no off yes that's off okay so yeah, so we've been doing a lot of things. That's also why, um, sorry about the, 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 the pre-record kind of um, live streaming, um, because all sorts of things have been happening. I'm um, also early this morning because um, the electricians coming in to do the rest of the house, or the rest of the part of the, where we live stream. We live stream from our dining room when we do Zumba, and we live stream from our lounge when my husband does his gaming so we are in the times that we are living in we are <laughs> making full use of our house and um, probably now using uh, I'll give you three guesses <laughs> um, my husband he thinks that all the fudge and everything I cook in this house is just for him 
But I can't do that because obviously we're trying to be healthy. We are Zumba instructors uh, as well, so we need to kind of stay healthy and fit and we cannot be always eating all these delicious treats. But yes, the fudge, we're going to, hmm, we're testing that new fudge. So, let's see. Um, when I was a kid in high school, I used to, I have a, an incredibly bad sweet tooth. And I, when I say that, I, 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 I kid you not when I say that. Um, I think it's caught up with me in my older in my older years because um, you know I was skinny when I was younger and then not so much anymore but I used to eat too many sweets and too many treats and stuff like that and I used to come home from school and um, if I was bored and didn't have any work and stuff especially when I was on my own because I have two other siblings um, if I was on my own my <laughs> my go-to was to make some kind of treat and sit in front of the TV and eat it so, um, and I could because I was skinny and it didn't matter. <laughs> Not so much anymore, but um, we still make treats, but now we just make other people have my delicious treats. So, um, but when I was younger, I used to make fudge, um, but I never ever made condensed milk fudge. I always made fudge without condensed milk. I had a specific recipe, which uh, I'm sure is somewhere amongst all my my, my multiple printed out recipes because yep, I know you have recipe books here, but sure, I, I use more stuff from like where it's been shared from somebody else than um, what's in actual recipe books. But it's a recipe that someone, it's one of my sister's friends gave me years ago when I was in high school and it was one without, fat, without condensed milk which made, means that the fudge was cheaper and I could make it all the time. Because all I needed was sugar. <laughs> and there was always sugar in the house, obviously. So, uh, so today is the first time I'm going to be making, and, I, and I, I'm not even like joking, this is uh, the first time I'm making this recipe. So it's a first time try out recipe, and it's the first time that I'm going to be using condensed milk in, in fudge. But I, I know the basics of how to do fudge, so um, I'm not too stressed, but yeah, um, Oh, <laughs> I just realized that I was, what, what, uh, because in my, in, my, in my trying to get started early, I'd, I was checking to see what size pan was needed, and it doesn't say. That's random. Pour into a greased pan, but that's all it says. It doesn't say whether it needs to be a deep pan, so, yeah. So I'm not sure, are we going to go do, you know, thick fudges or are we going to do thin fudges? Um, because that will all depend on the size of the pan that I use. Um, if we're going to go thick or thin um, and how big they're going to be. But now, sure, okay. Because it normally tells you whether it should be a 20 centimeter pan or a, you know, something pan. But this doesn't say, it just says pour it into a pan. Okay, so but yeah, today I'm going to do a condensed milk fudge. It's the first time I've ever done a condensed milk fudge. It's the first time I'm doing this particular recipe. Um, apparently it is meant to be traditional South African um, fudge. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to see how that works out. And, um, and if it works out nicely it might become a new product on um, on my website that you will be able to purchase at any given time. Um, and I'm sure it will be, it's gonna be a quick recipe, it's something we can, we, I do, oh, that's sitting in the other cupboard, which I'll go get um, when we're done. Um, Cause we have this idea of developing a new range of treats on my, for my website. It is easy to purchase, easy to make, um, and you can just buy it in a beautiful little jar that that um, that we found, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna try probably look to doing some other different kinds of treats, but we're gonna start with the fudge. And um, if you are watching, and if you have done some fudge recipes, or if there are some fudge recipes that you would like me to try, please let me know in the comments. Um, because at the moment this one's gonna be just a good old vanilla fudge, um, and then I think we're gonna. See how this one goes, and then from here we're going to pop 
possibly start chopping and changing it and um, you know giving it other flavors trying different things like adding nuts or chocolate or um, you know peanut butter anything so we're gonna see where we go from here but let's try and get this particular fudge recipe up and running um, and hopefully um, we won't get disturbed too much um, my daughter will be coming home early today since so it's the last day of school and it's July holidays for the next three and a half weeks hello Sabre you for change you in early <laughs> for change you in early I almost did not stream today I promise you I was I was like almost about to not go streaming because with we haven't finished all the lighting and stuff like that it should be finished by today at the end of today but um, because the electrician's coming in I'm trying to I, I went early so that I could try and get the streaming done before he comes in and makes noise because he's got to cut holes in the ceiling and you know there's lots of drilling and all that kind of stuff and dust and all that and I can't be doing that while I'm live streaming so I'm hoping to kind of get this whole stream wrapped up um, before he needs to start drilling that he hasn't arrived yet he's possibly going to be late this is Cape Town for us <laughs> Cape Townians are always late um, it's super freezing in Cape Town today. Um, I think we're sitting at 14 degrees this morning um, and it looks like it's going to start raining sometime soon, which means that my daughter's going to be super disappointed because um, we were supposed to be taking her to tobogganing today this afternoon. And I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but what we might do is we might just cuddle up on the couch and watch some TV. <laughs> so, because it's super cold. Anyway, so let's get this fudge going and let's see what we can do with this fudge. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to be at my um, at my stove today because, yeah, that's what you know fudge is about. It's about boiling up sugar and getting it to that. Uh, I don't know if you if if you, if you've ever made fudge or marshmallows. Um, you have there is this thing called a softball stage where your um i wonder if there's a temperature this this one is not showing the temperature okay so when i make my marshmallows you do the same thing you've got to boil it until it gets to softball, softball stage um it's basically when you can um drop a little bit of your your um, mix into ice cold water and if it's um hardens to a little softball where you can actually pick it literally pick it up and roll it between your fingers that is softball stage if you go any further than that you will destroy your sugar because then you've overcooked it and burnt it um, and obviously anything before that then nothing's going to set properly so it's it's a very um fine line of doing it um fudge does it um marshmallows do it and um Just trying to think uh I don't know, where we're going sorry i was getting a pot <laughs> getting a pot okay so we're going to start with the pot obviously and then we're going to we're going to measure out our, our ingredients and do what we need to do um but yeah uh, you can with, with my marshmallow um recipe um it tells you what the degree is so the softball stage on that is 242 degrees fahrenheit I have a sugar thermometer and I actually even though I know how to do the softball stage thing and I test both actually um, I'm gonna see what this um, it doesn't say what the temperature is but I'm going to probably use it all and now just in the way okay. so um, yeah so I've got a, oh, a sugar thermometer which um, Probably should have my glasses on. Let's change it to Fahrenheit because that's the temperature. I don't know what it is in degrees. So we're going to try it with that. Okay, so we are going to put sugar. So we're going to do 500 mils of sugar. Um, I did not think this through. I was. I told myself I had to pull everything out before actually starting, and that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to put in here, we're going to put the sugar and water 
in a large saucepan. I think maybe I need to do it on a bigger one because I'm not sure what's going to happen if I don't do it in a bigger one. I'm going to do it on a bigger one. I don't think I need to go bigger than this one. So it's the next size up. Okay, so we're going to go sugar and water. Stir over low heat until the sugar is done. Oh, right. 500 ml, that's two cups of sugar. I only have um, half the sugar in my house because that's what I need for all my cakes and stuff. But I know that sometimes it says granular, you know, granular sugar which is what? Mm -hmm. Not pasta sugar, the normal sugar. But, uh, for me, it's sugar, sugar. The difference is in, in a cast of sugar in, in a cake makes all the difference because it's finer um, and it makes it fluffy and you can't use it. You know, the granular sugar I find is not as good. But <coughs> with stuff like that, oh, sorry, I just swallowed funny. <coughs> Um, with stuff like this, I don't think it makes any difference. So you can use caster sugar. You can use um, you can use seventy-five moles of water. That's not a lot. Okay, so I've got a sixty, and um, let's get some. Oh, do I need? I'm gonna do this. So we're going to do 75 moles, this is a 60, and then we just need an extra 15 moles, um, what's that, a tablespoon? Uh, oh my goodness, now I'm seeming super unprepared today. Yeah, you see, it's, it's because I was not going to, to stream because of the electrician coming, and then I changed my mind and decided, let me stream. Because, yeah, that was the plan originally, was to stream today. <laughs> so let's just stick to plans. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, so we're going to put this on. I'm going to move this over to, to the, the stove so that we can melt. So come with me. Come with me, come with me, come with me. So we're going to move over. And... Uh, Come with me. Come with me. It would be good if I changed the, the camera. <laughs> Here we go. Come with me down to the... This way. Let's, I, I want you to be able to see what's happening. That's because I didn't set it up while I was here. Um, it's because I... Um, I think that's close enough for you, right? <laughs> you can all, you'll all be able to see what's happening here. Okay, I'm gonna swing you around so that you can see me the side. <sighs> can you see me? Yes, you can. Beautiful. Okay, oven on, the stove on, and we're gonna melt the sugar down. So, 75 mils of water, that's not a lot of water. Okay, that's quite thick. Sure. Put water in a heavy serve, stir until uh, the sugar has dissolved. Add butter and syrup until the butter has melted. Okay, so let's do one thing at a time. I kind of don't want to burn my, um, you know, Let's try not burn anything. So that's that's that that's going to be like an issue. Not to try and burn anything. <laughs> so this doesn't seem like a lot of water though. So it's not dissolving the 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 sugar. No, um, and you'll have to um, definitely need to stir it. You know, you can't just leave it and hope you know it's going to melt, kind of thing. So that's not. That's definitely not going to be a thing because, you know, um, you're going to burn the sugar. 
So you've got to keep stirring it, otherwise you're going to burn the sugar. So you don't want to. I'm using my low heat um, uh, plate. Um, I prefer to use a low heat plate. I'd rather take longer to do something and not burn it than, than do it on high heat. And then before you blink, it's burnt. Or it's, you know, it's, it's, it's gone past the softball stage and now you've got to start again. So rather, rather, yeah, rather go on lower heat. It's the same with the baking. I'd rather bake at a lower heat and bake for longer than, um, and make sure that it cooks nicely and um, I don't get a peak and I don't get cracks and all that kind of stuff. Um, whereas, you know, if you bake at a high heat, you're gonna get all sorts of other things happening that you don't really want to happen. So I think it works the same, like if you're doing stuff like this, rather work at a lower heat um, and slower than, than, than rush through it. As you can see now, it's, it's quite soft and it's gonna melt, definitely melt to um, like a liquid. What you been up to, Saber? Um, I haven't seen you streaming or... Actually, wait, I lie. You were streaming and then I... I couldn't come in. What was the reason? I don't know. I can't remember the reason. Things have been a bit chaos with us trying to put in extra lights and... Uh, yeah. Rebecca was still at home on, on Monday and then she went back to school on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and today and then now she's... And then she's going to come home. School finishes at in an hour basically <laughs> an hour and a half and uh and yeah then she'll be home early and then that's her for until i think the 19th of july although in a way like it's, it's going to be hectic because it's a long holiday and i've got to kind of keep her entertained you know since she's an only child but at the same time it's probably a good idea with what's happening in South Africa at the moment, so um, yeah, at least then you know we're not going to be in a situation where the school is saying, "Oh God, now we need to close and go online schooling." So hopefully, by the time um, she goes back to school, things will be calming down again. And yeah, or or not, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so well, you know, the, I, you cannot leave this. So now, <laughs> this, this, is, this is the joys of live streaming. You're going to painstakingly watch every step of the way. Um, I cannot leave this. If, if, if I leave it, you know, these kind of things, you turn your back for two seconds and weird stuff happens, like it just suddenly starts boiling and it, and it turns. <laughs> So yeah, I can't really leave it to do something else. Um, what's act? What I can do is stand here and stir and multitask. <laughs> I'm gonna need 60 grams of butter. Um, I do have one problem. My one problem is is that my um, my batteries on my kitchen scale have gone dead and I need to get a new one. <laughs> so I cannot measure grammage. So sixty grams of butter is probably more or less fifty moles of butter. So one of the things, I don't know if you can see on the side here, that's happening. So I'm going to just pop this over here quickly and I'm going to go get my pastry brush and water because you don't want that happening, the crystallization on the side. Um, it's a very important thing when it comes to boiling sugar.
you don't want that crystallization happening on the side, it will affect your softball stage and the consistency of your sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a cup of water and a pastry brush and I'm going to just dip, dip it in there and um, just run the water down the sides so that we can run the sugar down so that it goes in. You don't want that crystallization happening. It's going to then crystallize everything else as well. And this is not a lot of water, so it's not going to really affect anything with getting it to your softball consistency. In fact, the crystallization will cause more problems than the additional water. So you'll just have to, um, okay, I'm going to turn it down because it's boiling. Okay. Right, so we're going to add, okay, stir. So now my, I don't want it boiling, okay, because I don't want this turning to softball just yet. Right. Add the butter and the syrup. So we're going to add 60 grams of butter, which is about um, roughly four tablespoons of, 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 of margarine, of baking margarine. Um, and uh, the sugar hasn't dissolved. Um, I'm just worried about it. Um, I'm just worried about it, uh, what's it, uh, actually burning and crystallizing before it should. So it's kind of, it's kind of dissolved, it's liquid, that's what we're looking for at the moment. It's so this is roughly 60 grams um, of, 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 of butter, so we're going to put that in there. Gonna stir it in, and then we need 25 mils of, of golden syrup. There, specifically, I'm not too sure. I don't think you can use a substitute like maple syrup. I have no idea. We can always try one day. Try something else. Um, so. We'll stick to, you see, I, what I like to do is I'll stick to the recipe originally, make sure I know how to get it right and know what's going on. And then from there, I will then um, possibly start to alter the, the recipe. Ooh! Too much, too much, too much. And then from there, I will, um, I will change it. So I've turned down the heat, it's low heat, um, so that it's not boiling, because we don't want it boiling at this point, we just want to keep it hot and dissolved. We just want to melt the butter and we just want to um, melt the sugar and meat, you know, everything else. We don't want to boil it at this point. Okay. Right, so once this is done, we're going to then add the cond condensed milk. Okay. When do we add the vanilla? Right at the end. Yeah. Okay. So again, we're going to keep pushing the crystals down. forming the lock now because I, I was busy putting that extra in. See this is what happens when you've done it for the first time in two life. <laughs> I promise you I've never done this recipe <laughs> at all ever. If it is easy um, I would be more prepared if I had done it before. Oh, 
forming quite a lot of crystals at the moment, which is really not ideal. So let's try and get them off. We melt them with the water. So you see, it's, just because it's hot doesn't mean that it's going to melt the sugar on the side. It's actually creating crystals because it's too hot. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that. Okay, so because the thing is like now when you scrape like this you're going to put those crystals in there and they will not dissolve again it's the reason why um it, it just goes rock hard it doesn't um it won't it won't i can't explain it when 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 your when your sugar's gone past the boiling point and crystals are formed it it will not it will not be sugar anymore as you know it so it will not melt it will just get harder and harder. I suppose and then you'll end up with the like boi boiling sweets, kind of boiled sweets kind of effort. So I'm sure at some point during the holidays, one of my live streams, or, or I mean, not one, maybe all, my child will be in it. So please bear in mind that she might be in there, um, in, in my in my live stream. And then, unfortunately, the comments will have to be switched off because she, she's in my live stream. It's rules of YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna put Prime Dead Lock in now. And then we are going to slowly bring this to, to the boil. Have you ever had condensed milk and mori biscuits? That is a thing with the... <laughs> um, I feel like, Seba, you would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, we used to do it when we used to go to felt school. That was like the thing. You make sure that you had condensed milk or you had money to buy jerky, which is a little tube, a little tube of condensed milk. And you'd always make sure you had you, you brought Mari biscuits with you uh, to, to felt school. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how old, <laughs> I don't know how old you are, Sabre. So um, I don't know if you did felt school. I did. I did felt school um, standard five and standard eight, and I think standard eight was the last year that they did felt school. After that, there was no more felt school. Um, <laughs> but uh, that was like our thing. <laughs> little little tubes of turkey and uh, and and. and uh, okay, I'm gonna turn it up and um mari biscuits i have not introduced my child to that well i have actually introduced her because she doesn't know what condensed milk is <coughs> <coughs> okay so we're gonna we're gonna bring this to the boil until we get to softball stage and then we're gonna beat it how oh god i'm gonna have to beat that with a by hand oh good god <laughs> Okay, and then remove from the stove, add the vanilla, beat until it thickens, pour into a greased pan and leave to cool. I possibly should have, while I was talking nonsense to you guys right in the beginning, should have greased my pan. <laughs> Something I did not do. So... So we're going to just keep it stirring, always keep it stirring. We don't want to let it sit because, yeah, that could be detrimental to your softball stage and crystals and, you know, you don't want crystals at all. The crystals will, yeah, you're going to, like I said, they don't melt and then you're going to have this in your fudge and it's going to be rock hard inside your fudge. You won't melt in your mouth. I'm going to say that the difference with this fudge is probably going to be in the beating of it now when it's done. 
Um, yeah, that's going to be something else. I'm going to use my thermometer to get the temperature right, but I will show you what soft wall stage is. But that requires me to have a clean, ice cold water. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep that for brushing the sides, I think. And then I will um, uh, use a different um, bowl for the soft bowl. So we're going to get ice water or really, really cold water at the moment. So I'm going to just use fridge water. going just constantly make sure that the sides are clear of those crystals I can't stress that enough because you don't want those hard crystals in your fudge like even when you are, even if you're making marshmallows you don't want that hard then then you'll never be able to get because with marshmallows then you'll you'll beat it and you can't beat those crystals not boiling yet and it will come to a boil. Oh, that's a Interesting. Okay. So let's just check the temperature at the moment. Why are you shouting? Oh, no, please don't tell me you're not working. So the temperature at the moment, and I'm going to say that it's probably that you need to get to um, 242 degrees Fahrenheit because that soft ball stage in um, marshmallows, so it's going to probably be the same. Um, it's sitting. I don't. I wish I had. I had I, this is a cheapy one, and it works perfectly fine. The only difference is that I can't just leave it in the pan. To watch it get to that point. So at the moment it's already at 184, 85 average degrees Fahrenheit. It takes a while to get it to that boiling point. I don't think I have my temperature up because I've turned it down. But again, the, it, it's, it's a slow boil, that's why it's on the lower, why I have it on the lower pan, um, stove top. Okay, so we sit, we're looking at it's around about 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it needs to get to 200. Um, always keep stirring. And like, you can see it's not boiling. It will be boiling when, 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 um, once, uh, once it gets to the temperature that you want. So yeah, so it's now sitting at 193. So um, I actually don't know, you know, so I've never done condensed milk before, right? Uh, fudge condensed milk. So I know how it works with the sugar, but now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the condensed milk kind of thickens it even more than if it was just the sugar on its own. So when this gets to, to the temperature that we want it, then I'm going to show you what the soft ball stage looks like, just so that you know what it looks like. I just don't want to play with the, the, the temperature. But if you don't have a thermometer, you definitely just do the, the soft ball stage. It's something that I always used to do. And it's, it's not that difficult. You've got to keep an eye on it though. Because it can turn. So we're at 199, 200 degrees. We've got 42 degrees to go. When they say beat, I wonder if they mean beat on in the mood and beat. 
to cook it. I don't know if it's by hand or I almost want to put it in my 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 machine to beat it. Like you would beat marshmallow in a spot. Um yeah, I almost want to just pop it in my in my um, my mixer because I don't think I will be able to beat it, and I want it. Well, maybe doing that is too too much. I don't know. It doesn't say by hand or by mixer, so maybe we can try a different. <laughs> when I do the game, when I make a different flavor. What's going on? Sorry, I'm looking at the camera, watching it um, zoom in and out, and I'm not sure if we can take that off. It's an automatic zoom. Mm -hmm. I don't know what each thing is. But I, I don't think I can make it stay there. <laughs> That's my problem. I don't think I can make it stay there. I just don't want it to automatically zoom in and out. Okay, see, it's automatically zooming in. Yeah. Oh dear. I'll have to look for the settings so that it doesn't do that. All the different learning curves of, of, of live streaming. So many things that you've got to... It's not just, you know, getting onto your... Especially if you start getting, you know, better equipment and stuff. It's not... <laughs> not necessarily about uh, you know, just switching on the camera and doing a live stream. This does definitely look completely different to, now I'm trying to think of how I used to do it without condensed more. It's just pure sugar. <laughs> uh, although this will also be pure sugar, but I think it could be creamier because of the, where's the fudge I used to make. Um, it was nice, but it was it was never creamy. It was just uh, it was just yeah, <laughs> biting into hard hard sugar. Uh, not hard sugar, like like um, I don't know. Because I have eaten some fudge that's a bit like the one I used to make. So you can see it's now starting to boil. And then leave it so that you can see. So we're gonna. We're going to get there soon, soon, because it's boiling. So I, what I am noticing is for having not, you know, with all the, the sugar and me telling you not to do the crystal thing, what I have noticed is that with the condensed milk, the crystallization has stopped. There is no, it's not getting crystallized on the side here, which is fantastic. Twenty-five. You can't just leave this. That's the unfortunate thing. And I haven't greased my pan, so that's a bit stupid. I could possibly just leave it for a few seconds. So I can quickly do my pan, which I might just do. I'm do that quick. Um, I have a pan. I'm going to use this one. I wonder. Do we do a grease? I'm going to. I'm not actually going to grease it. I'm going to put it on um, grease proof. I'm going to put it onto my baking paper. Um, it's just going to make life easier if I did that. And now, why are you flashing again? Oh, it's confused. new battery or it got oh uh, might have got washed and it's not supposed to get washed in the the top part where the battery is 
Actually, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not really going to greaseproof my pan. I'm going to use um, uh, greaseproof paper, my baking paper rather. Then greasing. I I just find it one. It's cleaner and it's easier, and you, you're guaranteed for it not to stick to your pan if you use um, baking paper. So, oh, I can feel the difference in the thickness. Definitely, definitely get a big. Smells good too. Sorry, you guys can't smell it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to see what we do to get different flavors. I think one of the things that we are wanting to try and do is almost do like a peanut butter flavored one, or possibly a chocolate peanut butter flavored one. Ooh, I wonder what we could do if we did a Nutella one. Although that one will end up being super expensive because Nutella is not cheap. So we still see, see now what? So it climbs quite quickly and then it sits. So now you're going to try and get it um, to the top. But it is definitely thicker. So I'm just going to cut my paper quick because I think we've got a couple of minutes before it um, gets to where we want it. Um. So, I'm just gonna work over, oh, have you see me? I'm just gonna quickly do that here. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm just putting greaseproof paper literally on the whole pan. I'm gonna fold it in so that it will um, fold into the sides as well. It will be heavy enough once it fits in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use because I think that's gonna work out better. I'm just gonna move it over, everything over here, sorry. All right, let's see where we're at with this. Oh, it's definitely gotten thicker. That's a definite. Where is sitting at? So now, so you have to keep stirring so that you, you can distribute the heat properly so that you know. So it's not kind of just sit in one place and burn in one place. Okay, 150, we're almost there at soft ball stage and I can actually feel it in the thickness of the, the sugar definitely thicker. I'm just using the pans that I have and now I'm like thinking that if this works out really well I'm going to possibly have to go and buy a very particular size pan just for fudge. Um, possibly use it for my marshmallows too. And any other um, square treats that I'm going to be making. So yeah, we're thinking of doing like a whole range of different kinds of things. But you want to see how we decided to start with fudge and see where it goes from here. And um, yeah, it's nice having a homemade treat sweet as opposed to. Um, A bought, you know, a bought, uh, you know, treat that you buy in the shop. You know, like I mean, you can buy some fudges in the shop or nougat or whatever, but um, I think those are not um, quite. Firstly, definitely not fresh, and secondly, uh, because I mean they've probably been sitting for a while, and secondly, um, yeah, I think they kind of maybe do put a little bit of preservatives and stuff like that, um, so that they do last longer. So. I think maybe like a homemade um, treat, while it will last probably up to two, three weeks, um, maybe a month or two, depending on what it is, um, definitely nicer than, than, than some bought treats. I don't know what my daughter's going to do with this because I don't think she's ever had fudge. She's got a sweet tooth like me, but she doesn't always, she doesn't necessarily try everything. Oh, I wonder what this would be like if you covered it in chocolate. Oh my god. That's a little decadent though. I think. 
Or maybe we do a peanut butter fudge with some chocolate, like, as, like peanut butter cup, but except instead of peanut butter, it's fudge. Okay, I'm going to just test, I don't think it's ready in here, but it might be, so I'm just, so you see, there we go, so the temperature on this is a lot lower, okay, and I don't want to go hold, there we go, definitely, um, and there goes my spoon, <laughs> so, my, 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 um, my, Fudge has definitely reached soft ball stage and I've lost my spoon. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have lost my spoon in here. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Not that to do with the spoon. Oh, that's so funny. Oh no. My clean, my clean stone. Okay. So I just want to show you. So oh, see now, because I can't have to be careful that it doesn't turn to crystals. So we're going to drop, I'm going to show you, I'm going to drop a little bit of this into here, into the ice cold water, and we're not going to lose my spoon again, okay? But when I take it, it's going murky because of the condensed milk, but when I take it out, that is soft pool stage. So I can roll it into a ball between my fingers. So it's definitely a lower temperature for this fudge as opposed to the marshmallow. The marshmallow was a higher temperature. So that's softball stage. Okay. So now we're going to I'm going to move over here. Let me swap around back to my logic to camera. And we're going to beat it because they said to beat it. Okay, but I'm not sure what kind of beating it means. <laughs> Um, see, I don't know if I should be doing this in my, um, okay, I'm going to move, move this all over so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I, they don't say whether you should beat it, um, you know, by hand or not. So I'm going to do it by hand, but I feel like maybe if we did it in the machine, we might land up with a flattier, smoother, more, I don't know, softer, yummier fudge. <laughs> Here's the camera. Because I definitely can't beat it more than, <laughs> than the machine does. But look at the, how beautiful that color is. The color is absolutely good. And I don't have any strength in my arm because I had surgery done in my arm. My right arm is not as strong as it used to be. So I can't really do this very well. I actually think I have to do it with a machine. I'm so going to try doing and see if it makes a difference. So I'm going to do this batch. I'm not going to make another batch today. But one of the things I am going to try when we do a different flavor or something, if it doesn't require any lumps, I'm going to actually see what I can do with it, um, beating it in the mixer and see if that makes any difference. I don't know if this tray is too big because they really didn't say what size it should be which is a bit stupid because you kind of need to know now I'm starting to think that the tray is too big Nasty. I think the tray is too big I have another one so A roasting dish because I honestly think that that's conversion be a better size. And, and 
We will sort that out now. <laughs> Let's sort this out first. Okay. <laughs> what? Owie? Why are you saying owie? What? Oh. Oh, my surgery. Is that what you're saying owie for? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That was two, two, two and a half years ago from my breast cancer surgery. So, um, yeah, it's <laughs> not so owie anymore. I just don't have much strength in my right arm though, and as much mobility as I used to have. So now we are doing this. <laughs> okay, all right, let's, let's add the vanilla. So only five mils of vanilla. So let's add that in. Sorry, that's a cheat. Five mils of vanilla essence. <laughs> the cap, roughly five mils. <laughs> okay, beat it until it thickens and pour into a Greek pan and leave to cool. Um, cool in the fridge? I have no idea. Um, are you all going to sit and chat to me and <laughs> we can see what happens with the spudge? So I think, obviously, the more you beat it, the thicker it gets, um, the cooler it gets, the, the thicker it will be to... now <laughs> but after surgery it's probably one of the most painful things surgery wasn't painful but lift having to lift my arm was something else but I, I used to do pound um, I don't know if you know what pound is and if you do it um, it's a exercise activity that I used to do at the gym when I used to belong to the gym and if it wasn't for pound, I probably wouldn't have as much mobility as I do in my arm as I do right now. Because the pound helped it, because the pound is, what's it? It's uh, exercise using drumsticks. And yeah, you basically drum your way through exercise. And it really helped with me having to you know, get more mobility in my arm. My goodness, just nuisance. very upset that she's been well she wanted to go outside she's very upset because I've left her outside and it's now started to rain and uh, you know I wonder if this would be anything like um, do we have to cut fudge or do you think I can put it in a mold My daughter's going to be so disappointed because we were going to go tobogganing this afternoon and it's raining. And I think it's going to be like that for the rest of the day. Good old Cape Town. We'll just have to take her another time during the holidays on a sunny day. And maybe we should take her to movies. It's really wintry day. Okay. Uh, it's not. It's getting thicker as in, you know, thicker because it's cooling. But it's not getting fluffy like, like, um, like a, a, a punch does. Um, this is really doing a makeshift kind of thing. Um, I just, 
this is called laziness, but at the same time, I think, you know, ingenious, because I really don't want to hassle with cream. If it sticks, it sticks, and I don't want it to stick. So I'm going to put it in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm really cheating today, goodness. I'm doing some real cheats here. I'm going to just put that there. <laughs> because once it's in, it's going to be heavy enough to hold. I just want to... Oh, so, many, so much cheating going on <laughs> today. Here we go. We're completely cheating. Oh, you can't even see that I'm cheating. Look what I'm doing. I'm putting pegs on here to hold the paper down. But you see what? Because once it's in here, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, I need to try and get it in here first. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Definitely need to... Okay. So it's not getting thick like... It's not like fluffing up. Like a... Uh, like, uh, like marshmallows would so maybe beating it won't work beating it in a in a um in the what's it in the mixer i don't think that will work i don't think yeah it hasn't it's got thicker it hasn't doubled in size there we go that's the thing i'm trying to say so i don't think whether you use a it just look nice okay I would think that it would, I don't know. This is the thing with fudge, I don't know. So we, this is why we're doing it. We're trying out new recipes. Right, so let's pour it in. Okay, I'm glad I changed my mind about the tray. So this tray is roughly around about a four, an A4 size tray. So what would have happened is if I had used the tray I was going to use, my fudge would have come out super thin. Super thin slices, you know, super thin slices, even now. So this is definitely something that they failed to do on the recipe, is tell you what size um, pan you need for tray. And it seems like you kind of need a... a um, Probably should have been a 20 centimeter square tin if you want nice thick ones. Yeah, that's something that they failed to <laughs> accommodate on the on, on the on the recipe, which is really silly. Okay, I just want to push it down so it goes in. Okay, I'm actually going to put this in the fridge to kind of Hope for the best. It's not going to be perfect fudge this time around because it's the first time fudge. Yeah. I want to see what... So the, the whole thing is that I want to know how it tastes and how to turn it out and stuff. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge. It's actually quite hot. so that we can put this in. Okay, so that's the end of the I have nothing else for you. <laughs> Literally just doing fudge and nothing else. But now, so I don't know how long it's going to take. It says in the fridge, until, well, it actually doesn't say in the fridge. It just says allowed to cool. So I'm just going to pop it in the fridge because, yeah, I think I want to kind of speed it up. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to cool. 
Let's taste this. It tastes like fudge. It's got that. What does fudge have? Like a grainy. Like a grainy um, texture. But it's. And that's on the, on the runny part of it. It's um, it's like a smooth grain. <laughs> it's got like a smooth, like grainy feel. I can't even explain it. So it's like coarse sugar to pasta sugar, where it's gone. So even though there's still that texture, it's um, it's 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 smooth. So I think it's on the right track. Then the, if it is, I'm going to say this is probably one of the easiest fudge recipes I've ever done. And if it works out really well, um, I'm going to say that we're going to try and alter the recipe. <laughs> Looks so good. Oh, Sabre, you want me to share the recipe with you? <laughs> For you, my friend, I will share the recipe. I'm terrible. I don't like sharing recipes that I sell. Because then I'm like, oh, well, they could possibly go and buy it. I mean, make it themselves. But I could be wrong as well, because at the same time, a lot of people don't really... Yeah, well, I mean, people who don't bake or anything like that, I'm not going to ask for the recipe anyway. Okay? <laughs> or want the recipe. Or anything like that. So, um, yeah. Say, but did you did you come in after I showed what was going on in my kitchen? Do you want to see what's going on in my kitchen and how things look? I think you came in afterwards because this morning what I did was I kind of just showed everybody um, what's been going on um, in the kitchen, and that um, I'm actually working with only one key light I'm so stoked about that because um, I was working with one large studio light because we do photography because I'm big into photography and, and not so is Prav and Prav has got all the equipment I've <laughs> and I've got the you know I, I, I used to do it oh wow do you not have the recipe? Was it a good recipe though? Was that recipe a good recipe? Do you want to share it? Do you want me to try it? I'd love, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe share your recipe with me so that maybe I'll try your mom's recipe. That would be cool. I don't know, maybe it's not as different as this one. This one really, I mean, it's very basic. This one is literally just sugar, a little bit of butter, a little bit of water, condensed milk I mean I think the thing with fudge is it is the condensed milk so the, the recipe that I used to make without condensed milk was very sugary and wasn't the smooth texture this creamy texture and condensed milk gives it a, a different kind of flavor have you ever made condensed milk buttercream oh my god it's out of this world um, it just gives your buttercream a completely different flavor, but it's so subtle though. It just doesn't taste, a, so what it does is it takes that sugary taste away or um, it, it just, because it's got its own little kick to it. No recipe. Ah! <laughs> no, that's okay. You can always share it with me if you do get it. Um, yeah, because I'm going to be trying, so what we're going to basically do is, um, I think one live stream a week for the next, or now we've done this one, so another live stream, another three live streams, one per week, we will try a different fudge recipe or change up this fudge recipe so that we can see, you know, what we can do differently with it and stuff like that so 
I've just chopped and changed. <laughs> I've just realised that I've chopped and changed um, my uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe I should look this way. This is where the camera is. I'm so busy looking here at my phone because I can see the chat here. <laughs> but I'll look at you this way. How's that one? I'd rather just do that. Do you see, see Sabre? Look at my beautiful banner. Okay, made this, we had this beautiful banner made so that we can hide the back door or the fridge. <laughs> um, and do you want to? So what? We, what I, I, I realize that I've, I'm actually chopping and changing in in topics here we, because I'm looking at what you're saying and then I go back to to the other topic. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna try. So we're gonna try out different recipes for the next couple of weeks, so that we can come up with something new and um, new, like uh, a new fun range of treats that um, people can buy that is a bit more accessible as opposed to needing to order. So, like, I could make a batch and say, okay, or I can make like I've got five jars available of of fudge that people can buy or whatever you know off the bat and it will last a little bit longer and all that kind of stuff um but yeah so but did i uh, say but did you come in after i showed everybody what what we've been doing with all the the lighting and stuff it's crazy so what's happened is i'm assuming that you're coming after that <laughs> Um, so what happened? So what's happened with us? You know, you know, we've been live streaming. You know that. Oh no, <laughs> that's terrible. So we've been um, we've been upgrading the lighting in the house because we are um, literally using every um, room in the house, like literally every room in the house. Um, so, Prav live streams game. He's going to be live stream gaming, which you came in last week Friday, our first game stream. So we're having lights, extra lights put in in the lounge so that you can see better. And then obviously you know with our Zumba. So because Zumba has obviously become a bit of a permanent fixture in our house, um, and we've t what we've done is we've turned our dining room into basically a studio for us to do Zumba. And um, with winter um, here in Cape Town, the sun only starts to come up at quarter past seven, and the sun goes down by five, by like quarter past five, half past five. So we don't have enough light now to stream our Zumba. We've got all these studio lights that Prav has, and and he bought extra lights last year, ring lights and all that. But it's still depending on which camera we're using. So like at the moment we're using the GoPro because it gives us more range. Um, it, the GoPro needs more light to be able to be used correctly because it's meant to be for outside when it's sunny. So we're having lights, extra lights put into the dining room <laughs> so that we have more lighting for Zumba. So we didn't do Zumba last night because he was supposed to have done it yesterday and he didn't. So, and I had taken the green screen down, so we couldn't do Zumba. So I'm hoping that this man is going to come today and finish all the stuff today so that we can do Zumba tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if anyone is doing things. What am I doing? Yeah, have a coupon, people. <laughs> I totally forgot about the coupon. <laughs> have a coupon. Um... So yeah, so we, everything's a bit of a mess at the moment, but he managed to do the lighting in the kitchen for me so that I could stream today. And then I decided to go early onto live stream because I don't know what time this man's coming here and I'd rather be done with by the time he gets here. So I'm happy now that I went live because it was really a, a touch and go whether I was going to or not. And I decided at last minute that I was going to, and then I was, and I decided last minute that I was going to make it nine o'clock <laughs> instead of half past nine because Rebecca should be home now in the next thirty minutes, 
um, or yeah, next 45 minutes she should be home. So yeah, it'll be, it, it's going to be nice that I'll be done with the live streaming and then this man can, <laughs> can uh, you know, come sort out my, the rest of this lighting. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm literally using the kitchen lights and one key light, which is freaking awesome um, because um, yeah, before I was struggling because the, the, like today there's, there's with no lights, if I, sw I'll show you how dark it is in here with no lights. This is with lights, okay? That's, this is without the key lights, so that's quite dark. And then, and this is in my kitchen. <laughs> so it's, and now I can't switch the lights back on. Trying to be clever. We'll just put that light on. <laughs> no, you see now. I'm trying to see how dark it is in here. <laughs> so now, so you see, he has to come fix this. So now, this morning we managed to switch the light on, and then um, so we. It seems to be intermittent. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> so at least you can still see here. That's okay. So. <laughs> But you can see the difference in lighting. So yeah, they put lights in the kitchen, which clearly the switch is not working. It's connect, not connecting properly. Oh good god! So they need to sort that. He needs to come. He needs to sort that out this morning. But yeah, it just helps me that I don't have to have sure like five different lights and to add light to that because like today, it's cloudy, it's raining, and it's super dark in our house with no lights. If the lights are not on, it's pretty dark. But in summer, not an issue. We don't need any lighting. We don't even need the kitchen lights because we've got all these big windows, but it's because it's dark outside that we're having an issue. So, um, what else? Let's, should we, should we, I don't know how long it's gonna take for fudge to, to, to set, actually. It may be quick, it may not be. So, definitely not ready. Okay, this is the only problem with having this here. So, definitely not ready yet. Because, it, look, it's still movable a little bit. So, um, yeah, and it's still quite warm underneath. So, definitely not ready. Um, I... <laughs> Unless you're gonna sit and chat to me, I don't know how long I'm gonna, how long this is gonna take, and I can't speed it up because I really didn't. Uh, honestly, this was the first time I did this. <laughs> Your house is the same, land. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. So we've got two two tiny down lights in our lounge. So we're gonna add another two. And, it's, uh, and randomly, the down lights are on one side of the room. It's not on the other side of the room. So we, we, um, we put in down lights above where we sit in the lounge. So the thing is, the problem is I sit to private now because we, so what we've done is we've, we've changed all the lights in the entire house to LEDs um, to save electricity and whatever and be better. And, um, but the, because of the, the system that we've got, we've got this weird system that you could have dimmers and all the rest of it. So all the dimmers have been taken off. So we are literally light or no light. So I said to her, there's no, there's no anything romantic happening now. <laughs> Not with this lighting. I want to see if the lights come back on. I don't want to come back on now. It was doing this yesterday and he said he would he would have a look at it. What does this fudge now look like? Because now this is cooled down. So yeah, we we <laughs> so we have lights there, dining room, 
Yeah, so, and then the study, we've added lights and sorted out lights there. For prav, if you're streaming inside the study. So, yeah. But now, like, if, if all the lights are on, she's like, it's freaking daylight in here. Complete daylight. So, which is interesting. But, yeah, there's then, like, last night, I landed up switching the kitchen lights off because now it was too bright and I wasn't in here. Because we got open plan everything. And then we just put the the, the um, lounge lights on so that it wasn't so bright. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Okay, now, so now the thing is, I, don't, I mean, this, it says that there's four people here, but I mean, Saber, you're the only one who's talking to me, so I have no idea. Um, the problem is, right now, how long have I been streaming for? Oh, an hour and a half, okay. So, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I feel like I've been up too early this morning. Winter is definitely a time for hibernation, and I, I think I need to do that. I need to, I need to take my child's school holidays and hibernate with her. Um. Yeah, but yeah, I can't. I don't think I can sit here talking crap <laughs> for the next hour or so, unless there's other people who want to talk to me. <laughs> um. Yeah, there aren't very many other people who who are chatting. Sabre, you're the only one who's keeping my chat alive. <laughs> because you understand the importance of chit-chat on, on, on these things. But um, no, not everybody chats, unfortunately. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and my mother-in-law, she doesn't understand it, but she does it anyway. She chit-chats on, 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 on YouTube. But I mean, literally you and, and, and my mother-in-law that to chat on me on YouTube with me on YouTube. Nobody else does. Um, so I think I'm going to, to love and leave you because now I can't do anything and I don't know how long. It's already been like, what, 20 minutes or so <laughs> since I put the fudge in the fridge. So it's probably going to take a little longer, probably another hour or so before the fudge actually sets. And before I can even try to cut it. So I'm going to leave it at that. The fudge is done. I will post a picture of the fudge this afternoon. When it's ready. Because now I can't do anything. <laughs> I will post a picture on my Insta and um, Facebook pages. And um, yeah, you can see what it looks like. <laughs> Lurkers. Yeah, like, I mean, look, the one lurker is Prav. He did chat, but, yeah. I don't, I, uh, one's me. I'm trying to work. There is definitely one other person because I've only got, it's me. Because I've got you on my, I've got, I've got myself on my phone. You, Prav, and there's four people. So there's one other person. They'll know that I'm talking about them because there's one other person and they need to kind of say Hi. <laughs> Yes, Saber, you have a fantastic weekend. Oh, wait, if you like, I think we're streaming tonight. We're going to be doing more gaming. <laughs> Me and my gaming that I don't do. So funny. So you're more than welcome to join us this evening on Twitch um, with, our, with, our, with our fun me, like a giggling Gertie, um, playing games with Prav. So funny. I don't think we're going to be playing that... Um, I think we're only going to play probably tonight and maybe one other stream and then we're going to change games uh, because we don't want to make everyone bored. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll try something else. Maybe we'll play Rayman. I think that because that's fun and it's got cool, cool music and all that kind of stuff. But we'll see. We'll see what Prime has decided to do. I don't know what he's doing. I just follow. <laughs> anyway, guys, those who are following me, hope you enjoyed this. And um, I'll definitely post a picture this afternoon as soon as my fudge is set. And um, have a fantastic weekend. And catch me next week. Hopefully we'll be up and running properly from next week. Um, yeah, I hope this guy's not going to take another day. <laughs> from next week. And then, yeah. 
we, we, we're thinking of new and exciting things to do. So, oh, and I do have something new and exciting happening. So, watch the space. Anyway, guys, have a super duper day and a lovely weekend and stay warm and stay safe.